This is India, the land of cotton. The reason why British, French, Spanish, Portuguese all wanted a piece of it. Cotton was amongst the biggest reasons. We have been growing the purest and best cotton for centuries. We have more varieties of cotton than the world would like to recognize. Our farmers, who are some of the best scientists and experts of our land, made hybrids on their own, based on requirements. BT Cotton, a name that has caused a lot of controversy and still remains an enigma to the farmers and for the government alike. BT Cotton came to India because corporations like Monsanto are pushing the proprietary technologies and products not because anyone wanted it. Was the Indian farmer ready for such changes and alien new technologies? As experience shows, no. So this is India's very first genetically engineered crop. The very first time that a genetically engineered crop that came to India was in fact an illegal BT cotton. This was happening in Gujarat that a whole uh, a whole region, in fact, had been flooded with illegal BT cotton. And that already it had come to Maharashtra at the time that this so-called Monsanto BT cotton was being approved. Uh, created a very strange situation. Why BT cotton? When did it all begin? What is the position now? Jean Campion has conducted a study in the Vidarbha region on the way BT cotton was adopted in India. The first conclusion from the gene campaign study indicates that BT cotton was imposed in areas where it should not have been. The technology was not need driven, but supply driven. It was simply there. Nobody prepared the farmers in the complex management of the technology like need to maintain insect refugees, timing the spray, etc. Government, which is still held as a credible source of advice, continued to promote BT cotton despite evidence of its failure. Farmer commits suicide due to losses. What was he growing? BT cotton. Many cases of bankruptcy and suicide could have been avoided. Gene Campion had demanded from the Agriculture Ministry that Mahiko Monsanto Company be made to pay compensation to those farmers who had suffered losses. Mahiko Monsanto had flatly refused to pay any compensation. The government allowed it to have its way and the company was not made accountable for its actions. The cotton economics in India is confused and the government's cotton policy is not clear. What is clear is that the economics of BT cotton simply did not work for small farmers. Input costs were almost rupees 1,000 per acre higher than for non-BT cotton. The cost of the seed alone was four times as much as for good varieties of non-BT cotton. Savings on pesticides were merely rupees 217 per acre, while seed was rupees 1,200 per acre more expensive. Farmers had been growing cotton for last 100 years, but had never faced such a problem. The problem arose only after they started growing BT cotton. What should be done now? How should we proceed in this? We need to know exactly what the situation is with BT cotton. There has to be a review and until that review is completed, all BT cotton cultivation must stop. Till we know exactly what the extent of the failure is, where it has failed, where it has succeeded, and how to continue. And the government will have to declare itself. It has to state very clearly where it stands. Does it stand on the side of the farmers of this country? Or is it going to allow the companies to get their own way? It doesn't matter what it costs.